everybody. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I'm so excited, I'm gonna show you around the 2023 New Camp Tab 400. This trailer has got some great new features this year. And if you haven't seen it before, wow. They pack a lot of interesting things in this nicely designed trailer. This trailer is 18 feet long, and with the boondock package, which is their off-grid package, it weighs about 3,200 pounds. Now remember, features and options can change at any time. So if you're interested in this trailer, be sure to ask about the details. All right, so much to see inside. There's bunk beds. There's a brand new bathroom design. Let's get started. Walking in, you can't help but notice the quality and the craftsmanship in this trailer. This Tab 400, it's a little different in 2023 than it has been in the past, but it still feels very open, very modern. The dinette is squared off just a little bit more than it used to be. I really like the new design because it does feel like you have a little more elbow room up here. You do have storage around the top. Of course, you can see the ledge with the recessed lighting, a nice cubby on both sides, the circle windows here, now the one on the far side has a little storage with it as well. And to the left, four built-in cutouts with shelves in them. Just a really nice design for storage. The front window opens and it has the pull-down screen and the lift-up blackout shade. These windows, not only are they acrylic, lightweight, easy to use, but they open completely and they're a dual pane. So all the great things with these windows. I'll show you a little bit more about that and how they work in a few minutes. All right, let's show you the bunk. This model comes standard with a bunk built into this dinette. Let me remove these cushions and we're gonna show you how that works. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the bunk. Before we go there, I just want to point out the craftsmanship. We have taken all the cushions out we think it's a little easier for you to see how it's built and what I'm doing that way. But wow, if you ever want to know the quality of a trailer you're looking at, check out underneath the cushions, the finish out here. There's even storage under here and you can see the finish out inside the compartments. Check inside the drawers. Another place you want to look is where the wall goes all the way up to the ceiling or where corners meet. If there's a trim piece added, they might be covering up something that maybe is less than a perfect fit. So take a look at that in the trailers and that will tell you the quality of the craftsmanship. All right, let's set up this bunk. Now, the first thing I would do is unsnap these curtains right here and that way they don't get pinched in the hinge when you're opening up the bunk. Let me grab this one over here. Then to lift up the bunk, you just grab the handle in the center and pull towards you. The legs drop down and they will stop at a certain point to hold this up. You don't have to be strong at all. And you just wanna push them out and you'll hear a little click when they go into place. At that point, you have a panel on the top. You'll slide it backwards. And that is going to give you the full bunk space. Once you have the bunk set up, there is a railing and it stashes right under here. And it just drops into place right there for a guard if you have little ones up there. Now putting the cushions in isn't difficult at all. There is a layout available on New Camp's website. After the first time, you'll have it down. Folding it up is really easy as well. You're gonna to wanna to start with this rail, just lift it off, and it stores underneath, right behind this bottom seat. Just lay it back there. Then you'll wanna slide this panel back and unclip the legs. There is a bar on the side of this latch. When you pull it towards you, it unclips it. Just fold them up into the base right here. And then as this drops down, you can grab the handle in the center and it folds right into place. 
Now that really is easy. All you need to do is snap these curtains back out of the way, set the table up, put those cushions in, and you're ready for lunch. There's really good storage underneath this dinette. We do have this storage bin over here that I showed you before. It's about eight inches deep. Nice finished cabinet under there. A little more storage in the back here. It's only about five inches deep. Now across, it looks like more storage, but it's just access to change the filter for the air conditioner. Now in front, you'll see you do have the AC vent. Down below, down here is the 12 volt plug and the two USBs and one tin plug right next to that. There's just a few easy steps to setting up the table. Just grab the pole with the post on the top. You'll slide it down onto this base and these handles will tighten it down at whatever height works for you. One more post here. You notice it all just fits together very easily. Let's loosen this up just a bit. Drop that down. Again, you can tighten this up wherever you'd like for this table to stop or you can let it swivel. The table really is lightweight. Just drop this down into the other hole and your lagoon table is ready to use. Very easy to get it out of your way or to pull it up. And again, be ready for lunch or games or whatever you need. All right. We're gonna put the cushions back and we're gonna continue on. Now that I've shown you the dinette area, let's go back to the entrance. I wanna show you this door. This is the, what I call a standard new camp door, the Euro design. It has molded compartments inside the door, a window with a shade and the fire extinguisher at the bottom. I really like the handle because you lift it up, it's red and you pull it down to green that locks and unlocks the door. One last thing, let me open it just a bit and show you that there is a screen that pulls all the way across. So you don't have that really annoying screen that latches to the door sometimes and doesn't and it folds neatly out and then goes right back into place and it's almost invisible. Really a great feature. Now up here at the end of the cabinet is where your controls are. If you wanna see more details on the control, you can check those out on the New Camp website. But at the top, you have the Aldi controls. That is not only your hot water, but your heating as well. Great system, it's radiant heat, it's not noisy and extremely effective. You also have the flow system, which makes it almost on demand. Down below, the Dometic controls for the air conditioner. Your air conditioner, as I showed you, is underneath the seat here. Remember with the access to change the filter. You'll also see the monitor panel up there at the end of the cabinet. Now that's gonna show you how much water is in each tank. And it's also gonna show you how much power is in your battery. Water pump, porch light. There are accent lights in this camper. Very nice recessed lighting. And then there's also a light at the sink right here. So all of that is at the end of this cabinet. Let's take a look at the kitchen because you have two glass top appliances right here. So all of this, when you're not using the kitchen area, can be used as counter space. What a clean look. This is about a six inch deep sink. Fold up faucet right here. Just fold it right back down when you're not using it and it's back out of the way. Now the same thing with the stove, just lift up the cover, it's gonna lock into place, and you have two burners with of course the knobs and a spark igniter, no need for a match. And when you wanna put this lid down, remember, you wanna lift it up and then pull it down. Otherwise those hinges get bent and it doesn't work smoothly. Now's a good time to show you about this window before we look at the storage here in the kitchen. These double paned acrylic windows are so nice because if you open the handles here, push button on the bottom with that red button, the other two just lift up. You simply push this open. Now you tighten down the knob at whatever opening you would like. So if you want it open just about an inch, not a problem. If you want it completely open so that air just flows in, what a great feature. You do have the screen that pulls down from the top. 
the blackout shade that pulls up from the bottom. And there is a clip here, so you can clip these together. You may want a little bit of airflow, but also some privacy underneath. So everything is an option here. I just love the versatility of these windows. All righty, let's look at the cabinet space. Up top, you do have an open cupboard right here. These handles are really nice because nothing sticks out and you can't catch anything on it. You simply push the button and it pops out and gives you a handle to open the cabinet. The cabinets stay open by themselves. Again, you can see the beautiful finish out in here. There is a plug up there because there is a microwave option. The microwave drops right in here if you get that option and you plug it in in the next cabinet. It's always nice to have that plug accessible. So that if anything happens, you can simply reach in in the next cabinet and unplug that microwave. Okay, let's take a look underneath at the storage because there is a lot there as well. Right here, you have two shelves. Now it is the full depth of this cabinet and underneath a drawer. It's about five inches deep and two more drawers right here. This one has the storage uh, for the silverware in the top, but there is two or three inches underneath. So you've got two levels and a space in the side here. Just a really nice finish out. The drawer underneath, again, it's the same size but doesn't have any extras added into it. Just one large open drawer. Quite a bit of space right there. But as you turn the corner in this rounded area, there is even more. And if nothing else, you have just got to appreciate the nice design here. Do you remember in the 50s when they had rounded cabinets like this at the end of the counters? Really such a great style to it and really a beautiful finish out. So a lot of storage right here in the kitchen. In 2022, there were two refrigerator options, but in 2023, New Campus moved to this isotherm refrigerator. It is a 4.6 cubic foot refrigerator. Let me show you the space in here. So this is really quite a nice space. It is a 12 volt refrigerator, but it's compressor driven. So what that means is that it's running off the battery, but it is a different system than you might be used to in the RV industry. It uses a fraction of the electricity and it gets cold in a matter of hours. It doesn't take overnight. I really love this refrigerator, the space, the efficiency. It is perfect for this trailer. A little more storage underneath, right here. Nice drawer. You can see it's a little bit of a weird cutout on this side, so it is only about 12 inches wide, but that's the design style that New Camp has put in here. They wanted that nice clean look across the front. Open cubby in the bottom, great for all kinds of things. I know my boots would go in there. There's a little more storage underneath the bed right here in this drawer. Now that'd be great for clothes. You could also use it for food storage, just whatever it is that you need. Great spot for that locks in so that latch stays out of your way. Now let's look at this bed area. This sleeping area, it doesn't feel tight or claustrophobic. It really feels very open and they've added some really nice features back here. Over here on my left, you'll see some reading lights and of course, indirect lighting. That is really nice feature. You're resting, about to go to sleep. You've got some light options there. There's a cubby, a cutout right here, great for storing your book, your glasses, and if you have a CPAP machine, it will fit perfectly in there. Now inside, you'll see a light switch, of course, so you can adjust the lighting when you're going to sleep. It'll also have a button for the inverter. This trailer comes standard with a 100 amp hour lithium battery. It also has a 1200 watt inverter. What that does is it takes the battery power and it powers two of the household plugs that normally would not be powered unless you were plugged into shore power. So those two plugs that it powers, one of them is in this cubby, 
great for a CPAP machine, and the other one is over here plugged into the TV. Now's a great time to tell you about the lithium battery option. Now, there is an option to add more lithium batteries. You add 400 amp hours of lithium batteries. That's four times the amount that comes with the trailer. You also get a 3000 watt inverter. That 3000 watts, it's gonna power every outlet in here. That's amazing. Now it also comes with a Bluetooth smart shunt. What's that? That is a device that is gonna allow you to use an app on your phone and see how much battery power you have left. Now every trailer is gonna come standard with a 100 watt solar panel on the roof, so you're constantly bringing energy into those batteries. So lots of great features here, and then if you wanted to upgrade to that lithium package, you are ready to camp anywhere. For those of you that are worried about these lithium batteries in cold weather, not getting a charge, they have heaters on them. So regardless of whether you have the standard lithium or the upgraded, the heaters are included. All right, over here on this side, 24 inch flat screen TV and the plugs right underneath. This really is a great space and keep in mind, they have an even taller window behind me in 2023 than they've ever had in the past. So it really opens up this space and creates great airflow. The one space we haven't looked at yet, that's the bathroom. Now there are some changes in there and it's quite a unique space. So stick with us, we're gonna go there next. Stepping in here, it really is such a nicely designed space. It feels very bright. You have the recessed lighting in these cubbies right here, the back wall. You've got a light around the fan that's in the ceiling and just plenty of elbow room in here. Now, granted, I'm only five feet tall, but this is not bad for a wet bath. A wet bath means that you've got the same area for showering and for the toilet area. Um, but you know, it's a very efficient use of space in a trailer this size. Mirror on the door, this nice sleek column that's gonna hide all the plumbing and also the water heater down below, single handle. I really like such sleek features. And this of course can be adjusted up and down depending on where you need it. Single handle faucet, and this is new. This is the first year that they've actually had a porcelain sink in the corner. You do have a little bit of space right here to set something down if you need to. Nice cabinets here, the light switch right here on the wall, a 110 plug inside the cubbies. Now I know what you're thinking, everything is gonna get wet. Well, actually, there is a shower curtain right here. Now it goes up on a railing and it covers three sides. So it completely covers these cabinets, the electrical parts, great for showering. And then you just pull it back and put it in the corner when you're done. At the top is the fan light combination. And if you push the button and push the handle towards the ceiling, it opens up that vent. You have a button on this side for the light and a button on this side to start the fan. When you're done, just pull it down and it's gonna close up and keep the water out from the outside. Really easy to use. So this is a very efficient space. Two hooks in the back for hanging towels, maybe your bathrobe. I just really think they've done a great job in making a spacious bathroom in such a compact trailer. Now, one more thing I wanna show you. Before we take off, there is a high powered fan up here in the ceiling. Now that's gonna create a breeze when you open all these large windows around this trailer. That's invaluable especially if you're camping off the grid. The lights next to it, you can have a quick touch of a blue light if you just need to see a little bit of where you're going, or you have three different intensities of the white light. I just love lighting that's gonna give you options. And then one more touch and it turns everything off. Great feature. All right, let's head outside. The outside of this trailer is really part of the charm. There are different colors that you can get on the outside and different graphics. As far as a base color, you can get white, silver, 
or there is a charcoal if you want to pay just a little bit extra. It really adds some pop to this trailer. There's different graphics. This one has one with the trees, some mountains, really gives it an outdoors feel. So this one is one of the popular graphics, but you can check out the website to see all the different options. The trim color, silver, white, black, or red. Okay, let's talk about the boondock package because the boondock package is the off-grid package that's available on the 400. That option includes off-road tires, a heavier drop axle to give you a little more clearance, this nice heavy-duty boondock handle, a heavier step, and of course, the really nice boondock graphics on the back. So that's how you can tell this is a boondock package. There's also a platform on the front. That's really nice for carrying a generator, carry extra ice chests, any of the gear that you might wanna bring along. So all that is part of the boondock package. Now talking about tires, they have moved to all Goodyear tires, the off-road and the non-off-road tires. So that is a nice upgrade. Coming around to the front, this is the platform that I mentioned comes with the boondock package. It is available separately if you wanted just the boondock platform, but not the entire boondock package. All the tubs are the diamond plate now. Really nice design. One thing I like about this tub on the front is that only a portion of it has the propane in it. The rest, it's all storage. Why? Because that lithium battery is under the bed. You don't have to worry about the battery up front. There is a gas prop, that's gonna hold this open, it's not gonna be slamming shut on your fingers. And when you pull it down, you have these really nice pulls to lock it into place. All right, the window on the front, it just gives it such a nice clean look. And on this other side, I wanna mention the handles. Now these handles aren't just for show, they are really handy this trailer is so light, it's only gonna weigh about 3,200 pounds. So if you're on concrete, you can adjust it a little bit, maybe to get hitched up or to get it in just the right spot. You do have stabilizer jacks on all four corners and the air conditioner that's under the seating is vented right here. The sewer connections are right below here. Now it is a single hose connection. You have 18 gallons of gray and 12 gallons of black. The rest of the connections are back here behind the tire. Of course, you've got the standard shore power plug here and in here, the Nautilus system. Has a magnetic catch so it opens easily. This is a nice marine door and when you close it, the handles can be stiff. Why? Because it seals the cabinet. Inside, you'll see a unique Nautilus system. It looks a little confusing at first, but what this does is this allows you to follow the directions in the pictures and have the ability to adjust to city water, to winterizing, to sanitizing your system, and to fill your tank. There is also a setting for camping off the grid. So all right here in pictures, when you're ready, you just set the dials and you're ready to go. The connection with the hot and cold outside port is right here so you can have a spray port outside your camper and city water fill cable connections up here on the right and there is a water pump switch in this compartment as well so all of it is right here including your black tank flush once you close this cabinet these again they're a little stiff but they also have a lock on it that's going to keep it secure this is simply a vent for that Aldi system that does your hot water and your radiant heat. Down below, you will also find two knobs on the frame and that is your low point drains as well for when you need to drain the water out of the system. In the back, again, handles for moving your trailer around and underneath, you'll see there is a gas port. If you wanted to set up a grill in the back, gas port right there on the right and of course, access to raising and lowering your stabilizing jacks. Beautiful look from the back. You may be able to see that 100 watt solar panel that's on the roof at this point. 
That is standard on this trailer to keep that lithium battery charged. On this side, there is a storage compartment with that same marine style door. And you'll notice this is the same as the other side, the lights on when I open the door, because there is set for a motion sensor. You can set it to simply come on and off whenever you want to, but that is available on the lights that are inside the cabinets. All right. This trailer has so many great features. Even the 110 plugs right here on the front, in case you want to set up this amazing outdoor camping area. You know, New Camp has done such a great job with this 2023 New Camp Tab 400. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV, and I look forward to seeing you again, showing you another great trailer. Thanks for joining us.